Johnny Guitar is a 1954 picture directed by Nicholas Ray, the first and foremost cult director for that group of French critics who eventually became the new wave directors, Truffaut, Godard, Romer, etc., and who pointed out Ray's keen visual style and his consistent themes. Nicholas Ray had studied architecture under Frank Lloyd Wright, and this might explain in part his fascination with juxtaposing many of his anguished characters against the environment in which they exist. Johnny Guitar is one of the cinema's great operatic works, meaning that it is pitched from beginning to end in a tone that is convulsive and passionate. There's really no other film quite like it. The picture is filled with bold, stylistic strokes like the confrontation between Mercedes McCambridge with a group of lawmen and Joan Crawford in her saloon, culminating in the shooting down of the chandelier, the same chandelier which begins the sequence, which sets fire to the building, or the long, carefully nuanced sequence in which Sterling Hayden and Joan Crawford have a frank talk about their relationship. The slow pace, the building intensity, the relentless and haunting score by Victor Young all work together to make the whole scene hypnotic. Truffaut called Nicholas Ray the poet of nightfall for his great flair for night sequences. Johnny Guitar is an example of a, a minor film grown to achieve the status of a classic. Its modern sensibility has induced a number of different readings from the feminist analysis of the film to the Freudian subtext and the perverse sexuality running through it. Johnny Guitar has also been seen as really characterizing the paranoia and the witch hunt of the McCarthy era. Shot in true color, overtly painted, giving a vivid quality to the images, Nicholas Ray deviates from all the conventions of traditional westerns. The film's very stylized from the use of contrast between the barren landscape and the ornate decor of Joan Crawford's saloon, Vienna's, to the symbolic use of color throughout the film. For instance, the color blue is suppressed. Black and white were systematically opposed in decor. Ray also reversed the genre's traditional iconography. Black was the color of Mercedes McCambridge and her lawmen, while the outcasts were endowed with rich colors or even pure white. I remember when I first saw it, I enjoyed it, but in the U.S. people expected a Western. Well, a Johnny Guitar seemed like a Western, looked like a Western, but uh, people didn't know what to make of it, so they either ignored it or laughed at it. On the other hand, in Europe, taken out of its American context, they saw a totally different picture. They saw it for what it was, an intense, unconventional, stylized picture full of ambiguities and subtext that rendered it extremely modern. Johnny Guitar has just been restored and it should offer the opportunity to reappreciate quite a unique motion picture.